so hello welcome back today yes finally ranking list <laughs> but if you if you imagine if you consider that half of 2021 is already gone half is gone where, where what happens to time <laughs> it's it's <laughs> it's unbelievable half of the year is gone so i take that fact as an opportunity to go through the releases so far of 2021 and do do a nice little little recap rank them what are the 20 best audio file remaster of 2021 so far and um, it was <laughs> first i want to do a top 10 and then i said okay what what do i have and then there were over 50 titles. And, and I said, okay, those are, oh my God, it would have been next to impossible. There are so many titles not, no, which I would not show, even the top 20. Over 30 titles I do not show, although those are great recording. It really, it really was tough to get in, in this top 20. It's, it's really an incredible year so far with incredible releases and I'm sure a lot of you will totally, totally disagree with my list, but that's how it is. This is my list and if you have another list, which I hope, share them. Let's discuss your, your list. But now let's start. Let's start with place number 20. 20 Place number 20 goes to the Sam Records label, the beautiful French label, and it goes to the Bill Harper Quintet. The live recording of the Antibes 1975 concert, beautiful recording. You know, all of the records I show today in that, in that top 20 list are on different videos, most of them on, on, on uh, new records videos or um, single videos so i don't go too deep into every fact of the music and how does it sound what what and, and things like that because if i would do so this video video will take much too long much too long uh, and i don't like uh, when videos get too long uh, okay this is place number 20 bill harper on Teep live recording, recording from 1975, Sam Records. It has, is, this is a never before released album and I think they will do uh, another version of this beautiful recording on the, on the uh, Artemis series, although I have to say I'm not that too much into this, this recording musically, sound-wise it's, it's great. Then on place number 19, one of the most controversial releases of 2021 so far and I'm talking about John Coltrane's Lush Life, the Craft Small Batch series. I don't want to go too deep into it, I just say that it's a beautiful recording, it's on place number 19 and that it was really tough to get. Let's hope they change that with the other releases. But on place number 19 is John Coltrane's Lush Life, the Craft Small Batch recording, the remaster from, from the Small Batch. Place number 18. Place number 18 goes to the Acoustic Sound series, uh, which is a blessing because we get beautiful, great, great titles. Uh, uh, some of them we will get again. Uh, there has been all as, as uh, 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 audio fire remaster. Some are new, and on place number eighteen, I've put the Ray Charles Genius plus Soul equals Jazz. Beautiful, interesting live recording, acoustic sound series. Good availability. You can get it. It's not gone up to now. Highly recommended. Place number 18. So the seventh, 17th place 
it's quite a new new release. I think two videos ago I, I showed it, but okay, that's uh, that's how, how how it can go, and that this is only place number 17 shows you how cool, how great this year has been so far, and uh, because this is. A, a very very good release from Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. I'm, I'm talking about Paul Simon. The one step, still crazy after all these years. This is a great sounding, beautiful beautiful release. As I learned uh, through the comments of people who has both versions, the original and 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 the uh, the one step version, this smokes. If I believe them, which I do, the smokes the original. But okay, still number 17 on my personal personal list. Place number seven, uh, excuse me, 16. Place number 16. Again, the acoustic sound series. Uh, quite early this year, they put out the Sarah Vaughan release. Beautiful recording. She is accompanied by Clifford Brown on the trumpet, Paul Kinchett on tenor, Herbie Mann on the flute, Jim Jones on the piano, Joe Benjamin on bass, and Ray Haynes on drums. Beautiful recording, and, and, and so happy that we have this fantastic album as an audiophile remaster of this quality. Highly recommended. Beautiful Stoughton cover. And, and and maybe I have also have to put that one of the uh, not the most important of course but but one of the of the uh, uh, ranking reasons uh, uh, is is the whole packaging how, how is it done and, and also the jacket plays its role in this ranking because it, it's also a fact of course the music the magnitude of the release is sometimes of of some importance of course but let's say the overall quality so this was place number 16 20 19 18 17 16 this was place number 16 excuse me place number 15 15 again goes to an early 2021 release from mobile fidelity sound lab and this is striking i, I really like that they put out run dmc as an audio file remaster 45 rpm double vinyl double disc version great one run dmc raising hell everybody i, I think everybody knows knows this album this hip hop audio file release of course quite hard to get but you can get it only 3000 copies i think let me have a look Yes, only 3,000 copies of, of this release, which is far too less, but okay, that's how it is. A great one. Place number 15. Wait a second, I have to recall. No, this was place number 14, excuse me. Place number 14, Run DMC. Now place number 13, excuse me, it's not so easy to, to, to count in my age probably. Place number 13, our first, not the last, our first Blue Note Tone Poet release. And I'm talking about Katanga, Curtis, Curtis Amy, beautiful single jacket release, not a gatefold jacket. Beautiful, great cover art, fantastic sounding, beautiful album, top job from Kevin Gray, beautiful tone poet. Place number 13, Katanga Curtis Amy. Place number 12, talking about Vinyl Me Please now, and we are talking about the MIA release on pink vinyl it was their 100th release of the essential series and they did a gorgeous job the the, the jacket is <laughs> with with this beautiful shiny print you can see 
one of the vinyls. It's it's an outstanding outstanding release from from uh, Vinyl Me Please. It's on 45 RPM with a lot of extra. So I I've had to put it here. As you can see, this is the uh, vinyl in 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 two jackets. Beautiful release. Place number 12. M I A. Album is called Kala. Great one. Fantastic release from 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 vinyl, from vinyl me, please. Place number eleven. Place number eleven is once more Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. Quite new. At least I got it uh, uh, last week, and I really, really, really do like it. I like the album. I like the pressing. I like the mastering of Nielsen. Schmielsen. Great release from Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab on 45 RPM. Show you the inner. <laughs> oh, nice, well done. Beautiful release. The songs on this album are fantastic. And if you listen to this coconut song, brilliant, brilliant, really brilliant. Place number 10, Out of the Cool, the Jill Evans Orchestra Acoustic Sounds Series. Unbelievable good sounding album, although I have to say that the 45 even sounds better. But if you listen to this 33 and a third release from Acoustic Sounds, you cannot imagine that there is a better sounding album. It's, it's a fantastic release. So cool that we have out of the cool, back in print and, and, and at the top notch, great availability. Mastered in this case, I think Ryan K. Smith pressed over at Quality Records Pressing. Beautiful, well done. Stoughton Jackets, place number 10. Gorgeous one, great one. Place number nine. Place number nine is one of the classical releases from the Electric Recording Company. Fantastic David Oystark Beethoven release. Sounds tremendously beautiful. This is stunning. A stunning release from, from the ERC. David Oystark, Beethoven Violin Concerto, French National Radio Orchestra, conducted by André Kleutens. Fantastic. Highly recommended if you are into classical music. Place number eight, another tone poet. One of the tone poets that blew me away. Talking about Donald Byrd, Bird in Flight. The beautiful, again, the beautiful. Stoughton Jackets. Fantastic. Fantastic release. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to go. On place number eight. Another vinyl me please. And a big one. Herbie Hancock. Look at that beast. The story of Herbie Hancock. Place number eight. Gorgeous release. Uh, the the uh, Maiden Voyage alone, at least up to now, will be look very different when the classic series brings out their Maiden Voyage. Is worth the money. But but what what they did with that? I have I've done a video with this box set. Look it out. Fantastic release, place number eight, Herbie Hancock, the story of Herbie Hancock. Vinyl me, please, on place number eight with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous set. Place number seven. Place number seven is again a classic, uh, excuse me, a uh, uh, release from the Electric Recording Company, and I'm talking about Mel 2. Prestige 
audio file remaster from the electric recording company. Fantastic. Stunning. Mel Valdrum with, with Jackie McLean, John Coltrane, Iris Suleiman, Saib Shiab, and Bill Hartman. Fantastic release. Sounds unbelievable. Beautiful one. The smell, the smell Waldron from the electric recording company. On place number six, we have another tone poet. And what a tone poet. I'm talking about Andrew Hill's Passing Ship. Quite new. Came out several weeks ago. Not, not many, I think two, three weeks ago. They gave us this double album. Fantastic. One of the highlights within the Tone Poet series. This Andrew Hill passing ships and Andrew Hill plays with Joe Farrell, Woody Shaw, Dizzy Rees, Julian Priester, Bob Northern, Howard Johnson, Ron Carter and Lenny White. Fantastic. Highly, highly recommended. Get it while it's out there. Don't cry later. <laughs> so top five. Let's start the top five with another electric recording company title. Let's start the top five with Bill Evans. Portrait in Jazz. You probably all know this album, this release from, from uh, Bill Evans and this is an unbelievable copy. They did once more an outstanding job with, with this release. It's my, from those I have, it's my favorite release from Bill, Ev Bill Evans, Portraits in Jazz. Fantastic. Place number four. Place number four is another Vinyl Me Please. And what an unbelievable good sounding album. Imagine with all this competition, you probably know most of those releases and, 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 and other releases which didn't make the list. To reach place number four is, is not that easy. And I'm talking about Vinyl Mimpri's release of Dark Side Psychic. This quality, this sound quality is absolutely stunning. But important, important. Also the original release because I once had it, I sold it, is a stunning sounding album. Doesn't matter if you get the Vinyl Me Please or the original, it sounds unbelievable. Try it out, the music is fantastic. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Dark Side Psychic, fantastic, fantastic. Place number four. And now we come to the top three of, of uh, this year's halftime ranking. And um, on place number two, uh, excuse me, on place number three is a really, I was so surprised when I heard this, this uh, 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 release. I didn't expect so much. I put that record, the records on and it gets better and better and better. And I'm talking about the story of Tribe Records, Vinyl Me Please. What a stunning, beautiful box set they have done with the story of the Tribe Records. Give it a time, listen to it a bit, when, maybe you can stream it, I don't, I don't know. Highly recommend it. Stunning, stunning, beautiful, great, great, great box set. Place number three, Vinyl Me Please. The story of Tribe Records. Place number two is a classical release. And again, a huge surprise. But this, this album, I play it really quite often. Every time it takes my breath away. It's fantastic. 
Fantastic, and I'm talking about Samson Francois, a DBC Recital Electric Recording Company. This is a breathtaking, beautiful album. My place number two so far of this year. Unbelievable. Really an unbelievable, beautiful pressing, mastering and album. The way this guy, the Samson Francis, Francois, plays the piano and plays DBC is breathtaking. Highly, highly recommended to listen to his piano playing. Okay, and now for the least surprising place of 2021 so far. Of course, of course, the magnitude, the quality, the packaging, the pressing, at least in my case, it sounds fantastic. If you have a record or a pressing that doesn't sound that good, uh, I know that Acoustic Sounds is pleased to uh, 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 refund you or press you another copy. My number one so far, when it comes to audiophile remaster, uh, editions. Miles Davis kind of blue UHQR series from Analog Production. I know, not a big surprise, but shall I put it on place number two or three just to surprise you? <laughs> no, that wouldn't be wouldn't be fair or doesn't make any sense. Not a surprise at the end I'm I guess, but very well earned. Great one. Great job. So as you may agree with me, 2021 up until the end of June is a stunning year so far when it comes to audiophile remaster versions. I hope and I'm sure there are announcements. There will be even more stunning releases and we are looking forward to a fantastic rest of the year and I can't wait to do them in December again about the whole year. But that's, that's it for now, 2021. Keep them coming. Okay, thank you for your time. See you. Bye.